uh, hi guys since uh, many of us were requesting for uh, some explanation regarding the operations management group assignment i just thought let me share something which i have understood hopefully this clears and once again in case anybody has some uh, points where you can improve upon what i've shared or if something that i've shared is wrong please feel free to correct it i'm just sharing what i have understood so basically this project that we are supposed to do for the group assignment that we are supposed to do it has it is three examples three different examples that we submit each example is worth three pages so what is one example basically each example is an output that we are considering so one example you have one output so if you are if we are giving three examples it's three outputs basically so there are three sections for each example the first section or the first point is detail of input process output the first point first heading is detail of input process output then the second heading is discussion on operations management principles that are applied in the output the first stage first step is the output uh, sorry uh, the detail of the input process output basically the output the second one is discussion on the operations management principles that are applied in the output that is the second heading and the third heading is future opportunities for better control basically it's improvement future opportunities for better control is improvement so three headings are detail of in input process output second one is discussion on the operations management principles applied third one is future opportunities for better control now if we if we take the first one basically we write the output of the process as per what sir has explained also the first line that comes after this heading of detail of input process output is what is the output of the process so basically it can be a software that we have developed a digital product or it's a physical product i was thinking of my previous organization where we used to do wall units gondolas basically if we go to a mall we have promotion happening right small temporary promotion stands so the, those stands we produce so that would be my output so you can decide what output you are going to choose for the particular example then this is 1.1 sorry this is one output of the process i just write in one one or two words what is the output then if i take 1.1 so the first section first stage has 1.1 which is a sub point discussions discussion on the steps of the process so to get the output which is there in the first uh, heading that we have listed i have a process so the steps of the process is 1.1 we discuss the steps of the process typically in bullet points 7 to 8 bullet points what is step 1 what is step 2 what is step 3 that i follow to get the output that i have uh, mentioned in the first stage point 1 then 1.2 is the flow chart again here it can be a production process or it can be a service process if it's a production process it's a flow chart of the production process if it's a service then it's a service blueprint so i mention a flow chart for a production process or if it's a service process i give a blueprint basically service process blueprint so it's either or it is not both either it's a production process that i choose or a service process that i choose if it's a production process i give a flow chart if it's a service process i give a blueprint this is 1.2 1.3 is titled as supplier and customer industry or department so basically supplier and customer is the main thing both it's an and supplier and customer and after that comes industry or department either, either it's an industry supplier industry consumer industry or a supplier department consumer department that is how i take it this is related to the input output if you remember it says input process output process we have dealt with in 1 and 2 sorry in in 2 1.3 uh, 
1.3 is the supplier and consumer industry or department so if you go to supplier and consumer there are two headings again a and b a is called input material supplier basically who is supplying the input material the supplier for the first step of the process that is a in 1.3 there is b b is output material receiver who is going to collect the output who is it targeted to basically the consumer so the input material is basically the supplier output material is basically to the consumer the receiver after the last step that is what we are listing in 1.3 so to summarize one it is detail one heading is detail of input process output heading one the point that we are writing is the output of the process is what we are writing that 1.1 is discussion on the steps of the process 7 to 8 bullet points what are the different steps in the process 1.2 is the flow chart of the process if it's production it's the flow chart it's the service process process blueprint if it's a service 1.3 is supplier and consumer industrial department there are two subsections a input material supplier b is output material receiver that is what we need to look at then we have two two is discussion on operations management principles applied that is the heading which i mentioned so this is the title then it is basically the position of the process in the production process matrix or the service process matrix so if we have to go back to the notes there is a matrix given production process matrix we need to understand that concept to actually mention which uh, where is the process which position is my process in the uh, process matrix production process matrix that i need to identify that becomes the second uh, section starting so basically position of the process in the production process matrix is what i write first below the heading uh, the heading is operations discussion on operations management principles applied then we have 2.1 section which is example of the operational technique that is currently applied in the process we actually have a process in 1.1 right we have a process and we have flow chart in 1.1 1.2 in 2.1 we write the operational technique that we are applying in this process it can be a lean manufacturing technique it can be a scheduling technique it can be a process design or a service design technique anything it can be but it's an operational technique that i am actually applying in the process so in this we have to mention the technique and the steps where the technique is actually applied in the process steps i have 7 to 8 steps which step actually i am applying this production technique that has to be clearly mentioned so this covers two section the first section was detail of input process output second section was discussion on the operations management principles applied here i mention the position of my process in the production process matrix and then 2.1 i actually give the example of the operational technique that i am currently applying in my process basically i mention the technique and the steps exact steps where my technique is applied then comes the third heading the third heading is future opportunities for better control basically in in uh, simple terms it's improvement so the title is future opportunities for better control and there are two subsections in this 3.1 and 3.2 3.1 is basically the detail of the future improvement opportunity so we need to list one opportunity of improvement basically what i can improve in this process that i have listed what are the improvement uh, one point not r one improvement point that i can think of for making this process better either it can be an effectiveness improvement or an efficiency improvement should not be both it should be either one of them so what i am going to improve 
describe how this process can be improved either for effectiveness or efficiency only one that is 3.1 so 3.1 is basically detail of future improvement opportunity one improvement for either effectiveness or efficiency then comes 3.2 this is the section where the role of hr is coming into picture it says role of hr in the improvement process role of hr department in the improvement process this has again two subsections a and b a subsection talks about the resistances possible resistances for the improvement that we have suggested we suggested improvements in 3.1 right 3.1 we gave one improvement for effectiveness or efficiency so this is talking about the possible resistances for implementation of that improvement what are the resistances that we might encounter what are the challenges we might face that is 3.2a 3.2b is the actual hr role here it says the role of hr department to reduce the resistances so we listed possible resistances in 3.2a 3.2b talks about the role of hr to reduce the resistances which we have listed this is the entire project so for there are three examples for one example there are three subheadings first heading is detail of input process output second heading is discussion of operations management principles applied third heading is future opportunities for better control in one we have uh, output of the process 1.1 is the steps of the process 7 to 8 1.2 is the flow chart or the service process blueprint 1.3 is supplier and consumer a is input material supplier b is output material receiver which is consumer then two we are writing the position of the process in the production process matrix then 2.1 talks about the example of the operational technique that we have currently applied in our process we have to mention the technique and the steps where the technique is actually applied then third is future opportunities for better control 3.1 is detail of the future improvement opportunity effectiveness or efficiency improvement one point and 3.2 is the role of hr under a it is possible resistances under b it is the role of hr to reduce the resistances so this is our entire assignment uh, explanation what i could understand if uh, any of any part in my explanation is something which is wrong i has to or has to be changed please uh, let me know and let others know and uh, this whatever we discuss this entire thing is for one example so this way we have to present three examples three pages per example three examples will be nine pages and one page is for the details of our group and all that stuff so this is the entire project so what i would do along with this video i will uh, take a photo of what i have written here so that when you are actually looking at the video you can refer to this you can even refer to what sir has given that is also fine that will also work out that's it guys thank you so much